Toyota's all new fifth generation RAV4 has only been on the market for two months and it's been flying off dealer lots. So it's no surprise to me that they would continue to make subtle improvements. I'm at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show where Toyota has just unveiled the RAV4 TRD off-road. Let's take a first look. So until now, all of Toyota's TRD off-road models were specifically based off of trucks. And because the all-new RAV is built on the new TNGA platform and Toyota specifically designed it to be more rugged, this is the first time we're seeing an off-road oriented model on a car-like application. Now Toyota to start basically gives you an adventure grade trim and kind of boost everything up to get, make this vehicle look more rugged. You can see the front fascia, you have LED headlights as standard, you have these new LED fog lights and a little bit more of an aggressive front lower fascia here to give this vehicle a wider, more aggressive stance. It kind of reminds me again of vehicles like the Toyota Foreigner and the Toyota Tacoma. A lot of you have said that you really like the design of this new RAV when it first came out. Now from the side profile, this is really shocking to see a RAV4 in this kind of application. Now the tires, these are uh, Firestone all-terrain uh, tires that are basically trail rated. You have these unique 18-inch TRD lightweight alloy wheels. The RAV4 itself still has 8.6 inches of ground clearance. So Toyota surprisingly didn't touch the ground clearance, which is already high for the class. What they did do is they tweaked the suspension, they they tweaked the wheels and tires, they tweaked the shocks to be able to uh, handle the off-road capabilities. Now, the RAV4 TRD off-road will be offered in a couple of unique color combinations. This gray with the white two-tone roof is definitely unique to the off-road model. And at the back, you can see the design has a nice aggressive look to it from the white roof, the darker taillights, the TRD off-road badge, and then this one here has uh, the dual exhaust setup just like the other standard RAV4s. Overall, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, Toyota didn't actually make any changes to the powertrain, but let's take a look at the inside and see some of the changes that they did do for this 2020 model. So on the inside of the 2020 RAV4 TRD off-road, you can see Toyota made pretty subtle changes to remind you that this is the specialty off-road model. The first thing you're gonna notice, there's a lot of red stitching accents throughout the cabin. You have it here on the dashboard. You have some red stitching on the uh, trim pieces. Uh, you have uh, more red stitching on the seats or on the cup holders. And then the seats themselves, they are unique to the TRD off-road model. They're a full leather perforated with heated and cooled. Remember, this vehicle is based off of the adventure grade trim. So you can get features like heated and cooled seats. You have that terrain response system, which basically allows you to change between mud and sand, rock and dirt. So Toyota says even though this vehicle doesn't have a low range transfer case and whatnot, it can do some serious off-roading. So I'll be curious to know, you know if this thing actually can do it uh, when this vehicle becomes available. Now Toyota didn't have any pricing information just yet. This new 2020 RAV4 Adventure or TRD off-road model should be going on sale in the later part uh, of this year with Toyota to be announcing that at a later date. They also didn't change any of the powertrain specs. So you still have that 2.5 liter uh, four cylinder with 203 horsepower and an eight speed automatic transfer. Mission. Overall, I think it's a really cool addition to the RAV4 lineup. I think it should do well uh, and really put itself into a unique position in the marketplace considering this would compete with something like the Jeep Cherokee uh, Trailhawk. For Redline Reviews at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sophie Ambev.